Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. You want to go through a, a walkthrough with me? Do a walkthrough on the house. So far, um, we are ready to move into this place at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. Um, this is uh, this is what we've got done, man. They've got the flooring. Um, this is the living room. Still got to put the heater. We got a wall mount heater that goes that goes right there. It goes on that wall. But yeah, this room's uh, this room's all painted. <clears throat> um, well, then I got a little mark there that I gotta touch up. It came from the back of this chair right here. It's brown, rubbed off on it somehow. Um, while we're doing construction to keeping the couch covered so I don't get anything on it, you know. We'll, we'll probably pull it off. Um, it's a nice couch. Uh, need people to see it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so working our way into here, this is the kitchen. That's new, new floor in there, new linal, uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl uh, tile. And uh, ceiling in here, of course, painted, walls painted. You guys have seen a lot of this. Um, and then back here, this hallway. Still got things piled up here while we're still trying to work on organizing and getting stuff clean in other rooms. Then this room gets piled up, you know. So working our way down the hallway, this is all painted. That ceiling, of course, this is all ceiling tiles in here. For people that haven't seen the whole process, we took all the ceiling tiles down. It was a mess. That's the back door right there. That's where Jeremy's gonna be staying in here. It's his room until he moves out one of these days. Um, got some corner, corner shelves here, all painted in here, and this was ceiling tiles also. That's his new curtains, right there. There's his new headboard for his bed. <clears throat> He's in a single size bed right now. This is, a uh, I think a full, so he's moving up. In the bed world, he's excited about having a little bit more room because he's he's a bigger boy. So. <clears throat> and then here's the master room, master bedroom. This is where my wife and I. This is our bedroom. Um, painted and ceilings, walls. Uh, this is the walk-in closet she's so excited about. Got, you know, lots of room to hang some clothes in here. It's all the way down. Um, man, I've done a lot of work in here. I mean, we've been in here, we've been working in this place for almost a year, if not a year. But got some nice storage shelves in here we can put stuff in. <clears throat> that that nice looking rug right there that's going to be in the living room underneath the coffee table so uh working our way out back down the hallway yeah the hallway's got its own little heater so to help keep these areas warm in the winter time back here <clears throat> she's got a washer and dryer in the house and and the reason why i say that is the little house that we're at now um, for the many years that we've lived there for like 30 some years um, and when she was a kid that, that's the house that she used to live in when she was a little kid when she was little um, the washer and dryer out inside the shed outside so you can imagine you know doing laundry and it raining that she has to go out in the rain and get laundry out 
it's hot out there, um, you know, whether it be snowing or what it's doing, you know, eh, it just makes it inconvenient for um, doing laundry. So now she, she gets to have this nice convenience. She's excited about that. So then this is going to be our storage room back here. It's a mess right now because everything is in here from other rooms. But, uh, yeah, here's the, it's not, the walls and stuff in here are not perfect. See, here's the ceiling tiles. We haven't, they were in really good shape, so we just left them. If they ever start to, like, come down or something, then I'll have to tear them down and put sheetrock up there also but for right now yeah so like I said it's a, it's a mess but we intend on using this um, this room for extra stuff like paper towels toilet paper uh, trash bags extra food type stuff that we buy like a lot of the Kleenex too um, some canned goods you know we'll um, just have you know it'll be a little little storage room and we got an extra fridge back here. This is the old fridge that was here um, before. Uh, we're going to use it uh, for extra drinks and stuff. Um, drinks I may review. So then we got, here's the bathroom. Um, got a lot of work in here. Painted this. Put a new light fixture in. Um, there's the sink. Uh, this is newer flooring in here. This here is the shower, tub and shower I redone. Um, this is called FRP, and I don't remember what that stands for, but it's like shower wall stuff. It's plastic. Plastic or vinyl or something, hard vinyl maybe. But uh, people use this um, for, you know, water areas. I think a lot of this gets used in like uh, restaurants and stuff in areas that are like that you want to be able to wipe down. Uh, but uh, here's the tub. I put in I put in a new shower head uh, and uh, shower head holder. What do you call that? Uh, new uh, tub spout and handles. New uh, drain drain cap down there. Um, the overflow cap is new. Uh, the tub, it's in decent shape. I got, I don't know if you can see these right here or not. There's one, two, three, four little holes that I gotta repair. Um, put some, a little bit of paint, a little bit of filler. Um, other than that, the tub's in good shape. And then in here, it's where I'm at now. Uh, it's kind of loud. Let me uh, let me turn things off just a little bit. I'm drying the uh, the first coat of the ceiling I just painted. Here's the ceiling I just painted. Uh, it's flat. It's kind of patchy right now because it's still drying, but. The ceiling is still kind of ugly. Right there you can kind of see some sheetrock work that was done. The thing is, is that uh, in this room, the ceiling was um, in the seams of the sheetrock. It was coming down a little bit. It's kind of drooping here and there. And just made it really uneven. And actually my brother Larry, he, he used some 20 minute and he floated out a lot of a lot of the damage in here and then we went back with some some uh, all-purpose mud and floated it out a little bit bigger and I wet sanded this thing till my arms about fell off and uh, then I just decided you know what this is good enough I'm gonna go with this so I mean this is our office kind of uh, office slash this is gonna be kind of my a man cave kind of. Um, I'm gonna set it up with some of my beer stuff in here and uh, but, uh, yeah it's it's good enough it's gonna you know it's gonna have signs and stuff in here just and not a lot of people are gonna be 
see in this room when they come over. Uh, and I'm going to be doing my reviews in here. I'm going to be. I'm going to have a. I'm going to try to find a find a room to set a table up over here or something. Um, I'm going to try it in this corner. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out, but. But uh, yeah. And I'm, this is going to get new tile in here. It's going to get. It's going to get that tile. I'm going to bring it on in here. But uh, yeah, there you go. Um, that's where we're at now. We're almost done. We'll be in this house. We're excited. Okay. Well, I've gone over my 10 minutes. Um, so we'll end it there. And uh, thank you all for um, watching the house updates. Those of you that are interested. Okay. We'll uh, see you on the next house update. Maybe next time when this is done. This room's done. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.